Alright, hey guys, today I'm going to be teaching you how to feed your fish cucumber. So, if you didn't know, fish, most fish, like to eat a variety of diet, including vegetables and then more meaty things like shrimp and stuff like that. So today I'm going to be showing you how to feed your fish cucumber. I'm going to feed this to my goldfish and tropical fish. My betas do, don't like cucumber. My clownfish doesn't like cucumber either. So we're just going to stick with the goldfish and the tropical fish. So I'm going to show you two ways on how to prepare this for your fish. The first way is going to be just like microwaving it and just making little cucumber discs, which is super easy. I'll show you how to do that. So for that, we're going to need a microwavable cup thing, your cucumber, a sharp knife, and a cutting board. So we're going to start by coming over here, cutting off the end, like so. Then... We're just going to cut little slices kind of like this. Okay, now if you want, you can take one of these little vegetable peely thingies and you can like peel the sides off, but I am too lazy to do that. I'll just cut them off with a knife. So we'll just cut a few little slices. And there we go, just like that. So once you've got a good piece, which ideally has no seeds, because if it has seeds, you're gonna have to cut those out anyway. Just gonna cut off the skin with a knife. Because the fish don't like the skin either. They really only want what's inside the cucumber. If you're too lazy to do this, it really doesn't matter that much. And then we're just gonna take this, put it in our microwavable glass, and I'm gonna make two more of those. Actually, I'm only gonna make one more. And then we're gonna microwave it with some water. So now that we have them in our water, we're going to put this in the microwave for about three minutes. And now that's microwaving for three minutes, which is basically just to soften up our cucumber slices to make them sink. I'm going to teach you how to do the other way of preparing this, which is basically the only time you would ever use this method is if you have bigger fish with bigger mouths because we're making bigger pieces. But basically, we're just going to take our cucumber, take one of these whatever they're called, skin peely things, and we're just going to peel off the skin, like so. You always could do this with a knife, but it's easier with whatever this thing's called. Then we're going to take our cheese grater, okay, using the small holes, I'm going to get this out of the way, put down a paper towel, and I'm going to use this to feed my bigger goldfish. We're just going to take the cheese grater, like this. And we're just going to take the side that we've just done, and we're just going to grate. <laughs> we're just going to grate some cucumber slivers, I guess. So here's it out of the cheese grater. As you can see, they're just little slivers. And my goldfish love to go after this. That's where I feed my goldfish. I let the other fish kind of munch on the bigger hunks of cucumber, and the plecos really like it too. So we'll wait till those come out of the microwave, and then I'll show you feeding it to my fish. Alright, so here's my tropical fish tank. There's tetras, there's a guppy, there's a beta, there's a rainbow fish, a neon dwarf rainbow fish, actually. Um, there's a pleco in here, so we're just going to take one of the slices. I'm going to do this one of these whole slices. I'm going to drop that straight in the tank. It's going to float down, and then my pleco is going to love that. And I'll be back when the pleco is eating on it, and I'll show you that later. I'm going to go feed the other fish. So here's my goldfish tank. There's two fancy goldfish in here. And there's also a pleco in there. A bristlenose pleco. So I'm going to take one of these little chunks and just put that right in there. The goldfish, as you can see, enjoy this. Let me see if I can get you a better angle. The pleco will be on that soon. And let's go feed the last tank and then we'll go feed the grated cucumber. This is my 20 gallon guppy breeding tank and we're just going to be, there's a whole bunch of baby guppies and shrimp in there, I'm just going to be putting this little chunk in, I'm going to open this lid, I'm going to put it on this blue feeding tray right here, just like that, and that's so the shrimp can get it, get all the duckweed off my arm, There, that way the shrimp can get it and some of the guppies can get it, and we'll be back when they're eating on it, now let's go feed the goldfish with the shredded cucumber. 
And here's my 29 gallon goldfish tank. You can see there's algae in the back. You actually can't see it on camera. Actually, if you can. And that's just because I'm waiting for the store to have me order or have my fish come in. I ordered a bristle nose, a rubber lip pleco, waiting for him to come in. So we're just going to take the zucchini mush looking stuff. I'm just going to pop it right in here. And you'll see they treat it just like flake food. And this is the way I like to feed it to these goldfish. It, they like it better because they can just fit the whole thing in their mouth. So yeah, that's it. We'll show you the other fish eating it in the little disc form when they do. And I'll see you in a minute. So here's my guppies eating it. I kind of just scared them all away. But they really enjoy it. And most fish do. As I said, betas and clownfish don't really like it. Just because they like more meaty foods. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Goodbye.